Okay guys, so welcome back to another Scrapping Irish video. Um, on the, this one I am going to be uh, working on the actual bits from more of the mobile phones, but this time it'll be the actual foils from the mobile phones, so any of the foils which will have these gold ooh, focus gold connectors on them um, I'm going to be working on them so same as if I was doing the mobile phone board like so that board same idea again uh, just that these are on a foil um, so it's, it's, a, it's like a plasticky foil sort of stuff um, I'm just going to be bunging these straight into the actual uh, asset and um, we let them work away the same as we'll filter it and we'll see what we get so um, I don't really need to spend much time explaining what I'm going to be doing on this one because a lot of people who would have been watching the previous ones where I've done these boards will see it's just put into the acid let, to, let to the acid do its work lift the foils off filter it and let's see what we get at the end of it so first off guys make sure you've subscribed really means a lot um, just doesn't take long just to press the subscribe button down there hit the old thumbs up um, let me know you, uh, a few comments what you think um, as I say already from my videos um, the a lot of people I've seen on other people's videos saying oh this costs more than the gold is worth blah 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 that may be possible um, depending on what you pay for your assets what you've paid if you didn't get the stuff free uh, stuff like that um, if, you, if you have to go buying these to get them the gold off them then it will become a lot more but I don't I get the, uh, a lot of the stuff I get for free I don't really buy that much stuff um, it's just if I'm out or something or I'll buy it assets I get at a good price I have a good contact for the assets so I get them at a good price and so I don't pay uh, full market value what you would going into a shop on them so I get them kind of at a lower rate um, and again it's just a hobby that I do it for I work full time um, so it's a hobby and I enjoy doing it and I enjoy sharing what I do with people so if it's not for you guys just move on to another channel and um, see how you get on with it but if it is for you and you have uh, some spare time and you want to learn how to do this or see how I do it it's not saying my way is the only way of doing it there's, there's loads of people out there doing it um, hit the hit the like hit the subscribe and watch some of the upcoming videos um where i'll share different ways of getting gold out of the pins out of the uh chips i try and get it out of everything possible i don't sell any of the stuff i actually try and get every last bit of gold i can from the device so whether that's the chips or whether that's the um the pins or the boards um also if it has a bit of copper in it has aluminium i try and get them to add up to it so we're just going to go out, we're going to bung this stuff into the acid, start up the old um, acid uh, pump and get it circulating around it and we'll come back and see what it's like afterwards in a while. So let's go out um, to the shed and uh, get this going. Okay guys, so we're just ready to bung this into the, I'm just going to tip this into the acid um, and we'll, we'll get it going. We'll just get the, make sure it all gets submerged down underneath. Um, we'll just give it a few seconds to start to submerge down and um, I'm just going to put on the bigger glove for pushing it down into it, the heavier duty acid uh, gloves rather than just the orange glove. So while I was doing that I'm going to pause this and then we'll come back once I have the heavier duty glove on. Okay we're ready to go so I've got the heavier duty glove on so I'm just going to Submerge all that stuff into the acid. So it's all submerged down under the acid there. And we're just going to hit the pump on. And once the pump starts, we'll cover that, I'll cover it. And then we'll come back in a, um, and when it's all done, and we'll see what gold we've got out of it. So we're just going to switch on the old pumps. So there we go. So we're just going to let that work away. I will just cover it with this uh, bowl. It's just a plastic bowl. I just put it down so there's not as much acid as it Well, I didn't want to do it that way, guys, but that's not what I planned to do, but I'm trying to do it and keep it, keep the camera going at the same time. It's a bit harder, but oh, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. Just put that in there. 
that will uh, work away it'll keep the acid a bit more in so there's not much acid escaping um, and we let that bubble away and we'll come back in a few days and see how we're getting on see if there's flakes are floating around in it or um, do we need to add a bit more acid but that should be enough still should be enough active acid to make that work so let's see let's see what it turns out like guys okay guys so as you can see we're ready for the filtration side of it um, so all the foils oh, dropping a bucket didn't know there was a bucket stuck to the bottom of that so we'll have to put that into another bucket so it doesn't go all over the place uh, but as you can see we have the foils in here so again them foils will be taken out and I'll wash them just to make sure there's no uh, gold um, flakes left on it uh, if there is they'll be put back in again if they need to be put back into the acid again so that's the gold foils so we'll just put them aside and we have our solution so we have our solution with the gold foils in it and we have our two filters so what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to stick on my mask uh, before I start agitating up the uh, acid and then I'm going to uh, put on the heavier duty gloves again just to make sure that we um, are protected Okay, so that's done. So we stick on the heavier juicy gloves for the acid. <coughs> so I hope everyone is keeping well. Um, and keep it safe in these times. So we have our jug, so all we're going to do is just scoop a bit of it out. And straight into the filter paper. So. Okay, that filter paper fell a bit the wrong side, but it's double filtered, so it should be okay. So I'll continue doing that until I've filtered all this out, and we'll see how the foils get on. So um, you don't have to sit through the boring part of all this going on. You'll be able to have a look now in a second by the power of editing. So guys, let's have a look and see what we have so let's see there we go so there's my uh, foils filtered out so it's still a bit wet in there so but I'm going to do another stage but you can see in there the gold foils you can see the gold foils in there and again you can see some nice gold foils in here from them um, that I've done and I've also got some filtered out there so again there's some gold foils mixed in there with other bits and pieces so what i do now is um i'm going to wash them down into another container and refilter it again into one uh filtered thing so i have a little container here that will just bring the camera angle down so you can see it so it's just a little container and all i do is i take out the the paper I put it here on the container like so again make sure you have your gloves on guys because this this copper um, mix copper chloride mix is um, very toxic on your skin stuff like that so I just wash them down into it I won't get everything off the foil off it I know well I won't get everything off but these then will be put in with the rest of the um, the rest of the filters that have I have been connecting up off previous things and at some stage we'll we'll do all the filters in one go clean them all off so because I've already done a few filters cleaned off a few filters as you can see in here these filter papers are from previous filters from this same batch and um, so there is some still a bit of a few foils on and not much on these I've got them fairly cleaned off but um so they they're being collected up i don't dump any of the filter papers i hold on to them because there will be gold residue 
on them. Uh, there'll be a few gold foils that you won't get off. Um, so it's just a matter of washing them down in there so we get a lot more of the concentrated foils and then I'll re-filter that into one filter. Let it dry and add it to my my stockpile of gold foils that I'm collecting up. So again, see it'll be it's a dirty enough job, so make sure you have the gloves on. Make sure you're looking after your health first, guys. So again, if you haven't checked out the safety videos that I've up there, please do. It's very important that you look after your health um, when you're dealing with this stuff. You don't want to make it in such a way that you're you're damaging your health just for a few bits of gold. So again, that foil is off. Uh, that um, that filter is cleaned, so we'll get the next filter. So again, as we go down through these filters, the you can see the green from the copper. And so again, it's just a matter of finding where the foils are on it and washing them off. So there's actually two filters stuck together there, so we'll just do one first. And because they're so wet, they can stick together every angle. So again, it's just wash them down, get the foils off it. This is a stage a lot of people mightn't bother doing, but I like to do it. I just like to give that extra extra clean off to make sure I've got as many of the foils down into the container as possible. So again, I'd say that's fairly okay. So we'll just put that in with the rest of the paper and we get the last one out of this container so you can see there the, the gold foils where they're just sitting there so again it's just a matter of washing them down and making sure that we've got them off the filter paper as much as we can so it's just where the spray bottle is just spray down into it and you can see them collecting down in the container and then we'll re-filter that one more time and then we should have it all in one filter batch so again that's it so if you look in here again you can see down here there is some foils and stuff have accumulated that's why it's very important that you put the cotton wool down at the bottom and again when I finish my next filter that cotton wool will be um, taken out and put in with the rest again to be uh, put into nitric again so that we get everything off it so again we have the next one so okay, a lot of foils on this so you can see them just rolling off nice thick foils down into the into the container below Be ready to be filtered one more time and then we'll get our final look at it then when once i filter these off we'll come back and we'll have a look so i'm going to pause it there guys and we'll come back once i've all this refiltered and we'll see what we ended up with okay so we have uh filtered it again and this is what i'm left with so as you can see it looks pretty Dirty anyhow, there's a lot of dirt in the milk, so you get a lot of that from the mobile phone boards, but there's a nice bit of gold in there and we add a bit of water to it so you can actually see it floating. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm just going to um squeeze that off, drain it off, and I'm gonna put it in a little tub and we'll see what we have. We'll let it dry out and we'll come back and see what it is when it's dried out uh from it. So it's not too bad, Look, it's looking all right, but we'll get a final look at it when we get into a little tub. So we'll have a look now and see what it's like. Okay guys, so I finished uh, filtering it out and we're ready to just see what I got. Um, so we'll just use this little tub here to hold it in, we'll just zero that out. We we'll change the mode to grams as well, grams and zero it. Okay, we're at zero, so I'll just put them aside for a second. So this is what we've got. It's just a lump of gold foils and other bits and pieces. So there is some cleaning up still to be done, but it all adds up. So 
So you can see there on the paper I still have some gold foils and stuff like that that need to be cleaned up so um, we'll just try and brush as many of them off as we can so that they fall into the, the actual thing and these foils will be put in then with the rest of the foil or this filters will be put in with the rest of the filters so they go in here and they will be all washed with other filters you can see like there's gold foils in there so they'll all be put into the hydrochloric and uh, nitric acid and just dissolve any gold that's left on them um, I also have some more in here that have dried out as well so again you can see the gold foils in there on them but there's a lot of bits of mobile phones and stuff like that so that needs to be dealt with further but I can put that straight into the nitric and hydrochloric acid dissolve anything or I might give it a nitric or uh, not nitric a um, HCl bath first to clean it up maybe a bit more so again we'll just pour that in there so there's only about 20 grams and that's a lot of stuff mixed up in there with it so it's not just all um, foils and stuff you can see there's bits of mobile phones and everything in there there's, you can see there but there's a good bit of foils small very minute foils in along there then also we have uh, just use this container so we have the cotton wool that was used underneath so you can see the foils there again on the cotton wool so they'll be held on to and they'll be dealt with separately so again you can see some more little foils on it and another one here which again has containing foils so a foil very minute can get through sometimes through the filters or might overflow or something like that so again a few foils fell out onto the cloth um, again we have more another one in here that I need to take out so again we'll just knock that down and out into that container so that's what I just hold on to them um, and they can be dealt with at a later stage and we have another one we do so again I'll just knock that down into the tub and I'll just break it off because I don't need the whole lot, I just need the top so like that, so again where the foils are and they'll be added into into um, with the rest of the ones I'm collecting up so as, as I said before I have a full tub of them again which are find my top where I left them can't put my hand on it straight away but I have some more here anyway just add them in here so this is more I always hold on to the filter papers because there might be residue of foils and stuff like that still left on them as you can see there you can see some foils where I've done them before so that's what I do I'll hold on to them they'll be added into the collection and we'll deal with them at a later date again. I'll do a video on, on how I deal with them with the nitric and hydrochloric acid. It's just a matter of putting it into a big jug, putting in my nitric, putting in my hydrochloric acid and nitric and just dissolve them. So, um, and then just precipitate it all back. So that'll be in future video coming. And um, so thanks guys for checking out this video. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe it, share it out. And um, until the next one, keep on looking for that gold guys.